All right, everyone, welcome back to another Watch and Talk here at uh, Automotive Anatomy. So, first and foremost, I appreciate you guys just leaving tons of positive comments in the last Watch and Talk about me just kind of spending, not every night, but, you know, I would say <laughs> most nights, uh, just think about life and, and just things in general. So, I do appreciate you guys, your honesty. Some of you guys left some very... Um, you know personal stuff as well so um definitely like the fact that we are creating a good community here um i understand that this is not for everyone and therefore you know people young younger people i would say don't tune in because who wants to see uh, some dude watch some clapped out honda civic honda civics honda courts damn Freud slip right there i really want civics not a quartz um just cannot afford civics <laughs> no but uh, as, I, as i'm washing the car and I'm thinking, um, hopefully I don't get any letter from HOA that's just running behind. <laughs> nah, I don't think. I think I think my neighbors so far I think have been pretty chill. I think other neighbors are the rowdy ones, and they don't really clean their area. And I think that they're the ones who are getting targeted. So, cool. Don't want to be the black sheep. Um, as I was, excuse me, as I was um, watching Rosie, I was thinking, well, what is going to be the next topic that I'm going to be discussing, right? Because uh, you can always wash your car every week, but you can't always come up with, uh, I guess, a good enough discussion. And as I was um, washing the car, I, I kept thinking about one, and it's regret. And I don't think I've discussed regret in the past. I've discussed, you know, fear. I've discussed, you know, clutter. I've discussed money. I've discussed, discussed so many other different topics, but I hadn't discussed um, regret and there's so many people that say yeah I, I wouldn't change a thing because this is who me, this is who I am now because of you know my experiences I used to think that way too but I now I politely disagree if no obviously we don't know you know and they always say you know hindsight's 2020 20, because we don't know what's gonna happen but knowing now what I know, obviously moving forward, hopefully I learned lessons that are gonna help me be in a much better situation. Because I think that's what the the lesson is, right? Um, if you don't if you don't learn from the lesson, then it's just always gonna be a mistake. Um, but once you learn from the mistake, then it becomes a lesson. And I think I've. Looking back, I do have some regrets. I, I don't. I don't go. My philosophy is not that of. Nah, I don't care. Every mistake I made, it, it's it's shaped me. No, and I regret. You know, if if I go back, I guess the earliest memory that I could think of was high school, and middle school. Um, but mostly high school. But mostly, you know, I, I could have done better in in school, and that's a regret. Now, not because I feel that a, you know, straight A's would have made me a better person but i think number one it would have definitely i would have been educated much better you know um instead of wasting my time trying to be the class clown and i think that's part of that comes with the low self-esteem right um not knowing how important academics are uh just from a communication standpoint just from just having perspectives learning how to work with others um the responsibility behind it now i i wouldn't want to be a straight a honors ap student no uh, but i definitely think that i could have done better in school um but that's definitely a regret that i have because i know that in the moment it may seem like, well, what's what what's the harm of not not trying to do my best, and then you see someone else's best, and then you clearly see like, oh, okay, yeah, her best is better, and and almost like it, it kind of it. How do I explain this? It reminds me of when I worked at this you know specific area and the students there were extremely athletic i mean you guys have no idea this these kids were extremely athletic but they didn't have that resilience and every time the, the, the team i think one year went one in nine high school football and the reason was because the, 
the coach would, would tell me, yeah, like I start with 40 players and then we end with like 20. You know, I have my players playing offense and defense because they quit. They don't have that resilience. And so that's what I'm saying. I don't think people understand in that moment why it's important to do that rep. Why is it important to show up to the gym? Why is it important? Like you just, and that's the way I saw it. I was like, ah, who cares? I don't want to be a nerd, <laughs> right? Not knowing that it's not the fact that I'm a nerd. It's just the fact that I want to learn and that that's important to learn. But my low self-esteem and wanting to be accepted by other people with also low self-esteem, um, you know, made me a follower. And so I, I truly was a big time follower in high school. And I know people may say, well, yeah, it's a time that you're, you know, experiencing new things and you're developing yourself and you're finding yourself and things like that. But at the end of the day, I, I know I know who I could have gone and asked for help and how to improve myself, which I did my junior and senior year. But, but you know, my freshman, sophomore year, there were some challenges. And, you know, my senior year, I ended up with straight A's, but honestly, half of the classes were just kickback, so it doesn't really count. But that's definitely a regret that I have. And I'm, I'm fully, you know, uh, aware. Now... When it comes to regret, things that I, I don't regret, it's going to school right after high school. See, the thing is, wh where I come from, the community where I grew up, um, we can tell you uh, sport teams, we can tell you gangs, we can tell you uh, all types of different negative stuff, but we can't really tell you what, what a college is and what the nearby college is and, and why it's important. So... When I was going through high school and, you know, I asked my high school counselor, like, hey, what do you what do you recommend? What are you this? You know, he gave me a lot of good information. And then many years later, six years later, I, I contacted him again. And he was more than willing to help me. And and I was able to finish. And he's the one that actually motivated me to go get my master's degree. And at the time, I didn't want to. I was like, I'm over this. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, do it. It'll change your life. Just trust. I did, and it did change my life for the positive. So I definitely don't regret going to, to school. I do regret not in, not investing in Bitcoin. Uh, I was a custodian 2015, I think, 2015, 2016. So obviously Bitcoin had been around for a bit. But I, 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 you guys know me. I'm always like dabbing into these different little things. Again, I'm a budget nerd. I'm always, and I don't have any financial experience. I don't, I, I've made mistakes. I've put money onto meme coins. I know I shouldn't. I, I've done those mistakes, you know. Uh, you can call it the try to get rich quick scams that you fall for and um but you know some some stuff have hit you know my portfolio on uh look at me my portfolio oh big word my portfolio on uh my uh fidelity account yes i searched it myself i'm like how do you invest <laughs> um it's up by quite a bit so i'm i'm pretty proud of that one you know for the last 2 years is is up quite a bit so um I, I do regret, obviously, not, not doing this research about investing earlier because it would have been better. But at the same time, if you guys knew my finances, um, at some point, every two weeks, my spending money was $50. Uh, and whoever I was dating at the time, they would get flowers one weekend. And then the next, it was like um, just the movies back when you could afford it for 25 bucks. Um, and that was it. And they, it was funny because, uh, you know, I was dating someone before I started dating my wife, but once I started dating my wife, they almost knew like every other week there's like flowers. I think my wife was almost like, hey, you don't have to give me flowers every two weeks because um, they die. And I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I just saved money on flowers. Um, but yeah, uh, so my budget was extremely, extremely tight. So I investing would, would have not been, you know, in my vocabulary. But I, like I said, I was, a, I was a custodian and I was dabbing into Bitcoin at the time, into this day, but at the time I was heavily, heavily into Dave Ramsey, just listening to him. At the time I, I was paying through my master's, I was paying about 2000 and some change um, for for my master's degree. Um, I won't get into it, but for, for other reasons, I wasn't able to get any financial aid as a, as a federal grant. Um, but uh, I, I was able to apply for private loans, obviously at eight, nine percent interest and did, did I know what I was signing up for? I, of course I didn't, um, but whatever, I did it. I don't regret it because it, it worked out. I, 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 I pay my dues. My, my wife at the time, she was just my girlfriend. She did what she's not supposed to, which was co-sign and help me. But um, 
I had this huge burden and I told her, I'm like, hey, I'm going to pay this off ASAP because I don't want you owing a single dime on my on my behalf. And she's like, okay. And every month I would send her all my check. And again, it came back to 50 bucks a month. And um, I got another job and that also went a thousand percent. So when I got the second side hustle or side, you know, teacher assistant job, I said, every little penny from here is going to go towards uh, paying that, that, that loan. Um, so, yeah. And I kept that word. Not a single penny was spent on cars or anything, and yeah, it was it was spent. But I, I'm I'm so glad that I was able to listen to my high school counselor, and now I I believe I'm in the best situation. Yes, I regret not buying a house back in 2015, 2016, but I couldn't. I couldn't for other other reasons, and so. Um, and I've had this conversation with some of my friends, some of my really close friends who know my my specific situation. So I try not to kick myself too much down on that because it's, I you know, wish, could have, would have, should have, that doesn't exist. But especially when you don't have access to certain things because of certain, you know, uh, circumstances. And I, I think that there's, a, there's an okay, okay, you get a pass. But, but I remember looking at Bitcoin and I specifically remember it was this afternoon. I was roaming around in my little car, you know, picking up trashes around the school. I was a lead, so I was picking up trash, and it was my responsibility to go throw them into the dumpster. And I remember looking at Bitcoin. It was a video, and they were like, what is Bitcoin? It's like this blockchain, blah, blah, blah. And I just thought it was a scam. And then it just so happens, you know, that Dave Ramsey was talking about it. He's like, nah, it's gambling. Don't don't, don't put money into it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, at the time, I was thinking about putting $1,000. Now, $1,000 now, still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But back then was a lot of money uh, for me. And... Not to say that I would have kept it till now. I probably would have sold it off. I don't know. But the fact that I was dabbing into all of that. Now, great, it worked. You know, some people lost a lot of money. Some people made money. I get it. Hindsight is twenty twenty. We get it. But um, but I, I do regret that, to be honest with you guys. Because I spent a 1000 bucks in, in total over stupid things like, you know, <laughs> sticker bombing the inside of my car. Uh, that was some of the times that I was just on my more downest moments you know not working too much and you know twenty dollar sticker book made me happy and it just gave me an afternoon to just do something to my car um yes i wouldn't do that again uh but that, that's what it was right another thing i don't regret is having a kid at my at 30 in the 30s i'm 32 years old uh, a good buddy of mine said he didn't mean it in a bad way but he was like i can't imagine having kids right now as i have my kid right <laughs> And he's like, it's just so freaking expensive, dude. And I was just like, yeah, I I can fully understand that. So he's like, yeah, I just don't, there's no way I would have kids right now. I feel bad for anybody who has kids. And I just said, yeah, no problem, man. Now, a big part of it is the income. Um, obviously, I, I know that I, I'm aware that I make a little bit more money than he does uh, based on our conversations. But I, I, I can't imagine having my kids in my 20s, <laughs> you know? Um, having my kid in my 20s, like now I'm 32 and I don't even have the energy to go out, but I, but if I wanted to go out, you can't. You have a kid, unless you wanna be a beat off, you know, a deadbeat, beat off, deadbeat dad or dead, deadbeat parent, like then yeah, sure you can have, and we see that, right? We see them, they drop them off with grandma and they go out and party and I just, no, like <laughs> absolutely not. So, and, and this is not to say that I'm doing it right or that I'm doing it wrong. I, I'm just saying this is my personal experience. Um, I'm glad I waited. You know, the, the, the argument from some of other friends who their kids are already in middle school and high school and they're the same age as me, they're like, yeah, but now we get to hang out and, and I have more time with them and, you know, you're just starting. You're 30 and they're barely, you know, he's, you're going to be, you know, 42 when he's 10, blah, blah. I'm just like, yeah, man, like, I really, really, I didn't want to have a kid without having a stable career, stable job. And I know stable and safety and secure, it's, it's, it's not real, right? You can get sick today, tomorrow, get hit, and then you die. But you guys know what I mean. I didn't want to try to raise a family on a fast food income because it's really, really difficult. Not to say that whoever's doing that, it's wrong. I just know it's really difficult and I didn't want that for me. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think about this conversation today about regret? Um, overall, yes, I think the lessons that we have, they make they make us a better person, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, that's kind of the conversation I had in my head. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for the love and the support. 
Oh yeah, Rosie's back in black wheels and yellow headlights, racer mod. Peace out everyone, thank you.